Cyberbrainer is an online training platform designed to help individuals and teens learn the latest technologies and become certified professionals producing a comprehensive learning experience. Information and HR or anybody else who is having an admin level privileges only can edit this particular information, and not everybody can edit this particular information. All right, and let me just show you one more information. I'm now logged in as carefully, and I'm going across to editing this particular information over here. Probably, I think, the way other day when we saw about contact information edits, not sure whether you saw this. Oh God. Going back to Carolee's profile, and I'm going to contact information. And again, this is another BP by itself. If you guys want to go and edit it and also play around with this, there is a BT. Called as personal information change and contact information change. So that is where this is all going across. And so, if you guys want to explore it further, probably an activity for you today. Now I'm trying to edit the I got these guys a messed up or something big time again. It is again a business process. We have a business process called as change contact information. So I'm just trying to do it. Something is messed up over there. So I don't know what is messed up. I'm just trying to find out if that is some kind of a Mess. That is happening because some security or something has been played around with. From contact change for global monitors. Okay. This is where there's a problem. So home contact change for global modern services company. It's just, I don't have employee cell for over here. So this is another issue over here. Let me just try to pick this and fix it up after this session. So actually what they have done over here is see, we saw about business process and when I go across to my home, contact information. So let me just show us across to you guys, so you'll understand it better. For the moment, I hit on home contact information change. What is happening is the business process is not getting triggered. All right. So the business process is not getting triggered when I go across to contact and I see here home contact information and I, when I click on edit. It is actually triggering the change contact information, but after that it bypasses or it comes out of that particular business process itself. So what is happening is so, in order to debug this, I went to the business process definition called as Home Contact Change Business Process for Global Modern Services Company, which is the organization of Logan McNeil. All right, and then I went to the initiating security groups. Ideally, I should have a group here called us in initiating security groups for the Home Contact Change for Global Modern Services. I should have a security group called us employee as self. Here. I see, I have a group here called us pre-employer self and I also have something called as pre-contingent worker as self, but I do not have anything called as employee self, which explains this particular issue. I'll try to fix this up after the session. All right. So just another information for you, guys. All right. So, coming back to the security. So what exactly? We saw first who can do what. That is precisely what we are going to be seeing next. All right. So let me do one thing, let me just maximize this. All right, so it's clear on it. So this is basically the configurable security component. 
All right, and the heart of it is what is going to be the users or roles that we have over here. Roles could be like anybody. So here, I have an example, which is called as Director HR. Similarly, Manager is a role. HR Admin is a role. I can have H. Our Partner is role. All these are different roles which can be assigned to different users. So users are assigned roles. All right. So I'm going to be having a manager as a role. I can have H. Our partner as a role. I can have HR admin assigned as a role. And all these roles are assigned to a user. That is first and foremost thing that you need to understand. And where exactly these roles are assigned is. So, like we saw the other day, or let me go to my own supervisory organization, or this itself is okay. We saw about the supervisory organization and the roles which can be assigned. At a supervisory organization level. So we saw managers the other day, we saw about HR partners, HR admins. So all these roles are assigned a 10 supervisory organization level right. Clear on this. So I have a role here, which is a manager, or I can have director HR. And I'm assigning this to certain users. And I'm assigning it at supervisory organization level. Clear. Is this role user supervisory organization clear? I'm having a manager or HR partner or an admin director who it is. And I'm tagging this role to a certain user and assigning it to a supervisory organization level. So for any transaction which is happening at a supervisory organization level will have the manager picked from the supervisory organization level only. Clear thus far. Clear. So probably this particular supervisory organization does not have a manager. So let me pick our supervisory organization, which I created the other day. I'm saying for test BPR and BP1. I can have only one person. So let me go to the chart. I can have only one person assigned as a manager. Right. Because this manager, like we saw the other day, does not belong to the same supervisory organization. But that particular person's person belongs to one supervisory organization above. Which means for this particular supervisory organization where I have a missing, Arian Gathika and others, the manager, which is carefully belonged to test Arian BP. Sorry, belongs to one organization level above. Probably here. I do not have it, but he, Carol Lee, will be part of one organization. About. That is how the real world's in a reverse. And if I do not have any managers, that is simply going to be available. And the reason why we have people assigned to roles rather than users is today, Arian is a manager. Tomorrow, I can have XYZ as a manager. All right. It is not going to be a specific user who's going to be a manager. It is more that I'm tagging a specific person to a managerial role. And tomorrow, I have Arian, tomorrow, I could have Nisha, and then next day, I could have anybody else as well. All right. That is the way organizations are always designed.
I'm not going to have just one specific user assigned to a role or to a specific security group, rather. It is a role or a position, because tomorrow, Arian, from manager he could get from one to two senior manager, and at the time it's going to be completely different. So, like I said, first one, I'm going to have a managerial role assigned to a supervisory organization. And I can have other roles as well, which can be assigned to a supervisory organization. Like we saw the other day, we can have H. Our partner, H. Our admin. So many other people who can be assigned to this particular supervisory organization level. I can have manager, I can have H. Our partner. I can have H. Our admin. All of these folks are going to be assigned at a supervisory organization level. And again, your inheritance concept is also going to apply. So any person who is assigned as an HR partner will also be a HR partner to the child supervisory organizations or the reporting supervisory organizations, as per inheritance concept. Clear. I'm just going back to the inheritance, which we saw earlier in security also. So far is that clear? Like I said, I can have this assigned at a supervisory organization level. That is number one. Inheritancy. All right. So, as far as inheritance is conservancy, if I have some role, let me see if the rules are. Everything is assigned. You do not have anything inherited. So in the sort of I can see IT manager over there. IT manager is assigned. But let's see if the IT manager is inherited over here. The child supervisory organization. If you have that inheritance and everything. Let me pick Logan McNeil, supervisory organization. If it has any inheritance, it will be zero. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.